So yeah, I thought I would uh, help you out a little bit with the, or hopefully it helps, with uh, giving you an example using a multiple regression in JASP. So this is the data file that I'm having you work with for this last assignment. And so remember for you, for your, your dependent variable, you're going to choose either their satisfaction with community life or satisfaction with experience. So in this example, so that's a little different, I'm going to use this um, ethnocultural empathy scale as my as my dependent variable. Um, and then I'll, I'll pick some predictor variables to look to see what what predicts their ethnocultural empathy scores. So I go to regression, linear regression. I put my ethnocultural empathy score over in the dependent variable. And then I'm going to use the questing, study abroad, gender, and race variables. So remember, these were already made into what we call dummy variables. So I put a zero if they had no study abroad experience and one if they had one. Gender was zero if they're female, one if they're male. Race was zero if they're white, and one if they were um, a student of color. And then this is the that re religious questing scale. So you see over here the basic results. We've got R and the R squared. R squared is a percent of variance explained in this regression model. So it's explaining 17% of the variance in ethnocultural empathy scores. And, um, here, so we've got here our, re, our regression model. Um, and so you'll see here we've, um, we've got our mean square, we've got our F value that we look at, and that the overall regression is statistically significant. So that's saying, saying the predictors that we have in there significant, you know, when we put them all together, they significantly predict ethnocultural empathy scores. And down here is the details for each of it. So you see each of those predictor variables are independent variables um, that we have here. This standardized coefficient, that's our, that's our beta value. Uh, so you see the, the beta values here for each one. Their T value, when we went through T's, we interpret that T in, in pretty much the, the same way. And then over here, uh, remember this is the heuristic that we look at here. It tells us um, whether or not it's statistically significant or not. We, by the way, we're, we're ignoring the intercept for this. We're just focused on our four predictor variables. And so this needs to be 0 0.05 or less. All of them are statistically significant, you see here. Uh, and then to, to explain the relationship, we can either actually look at t or the, or the beta value, the standardized coefficient. So this is saying, since it's a positive correlation, um, the higher the questing scores, um, the higher the ethnocultural empathy scores. Here, for study abroad, remember that was a dummy variable. So one equaled that they'd had a study abroad experience. So what the, and this is positive. So if they had had a study abroad experience, they had higher ethnocultural empathy scores. This one's negative. And remember, you know, so that's an inverse relationship. Zero was female. And so that means females had higher ethnocultural empathy scores compared to males, uh, um, which is what we would predict off of this. And this last one was race, and that's positive. And remember for that one, it was, if there was a student color, it was one. If they were white, it was zero. So that means students of color had et higher ethnocultural empathy scores as well. So these are our basic results here. Um, if how this might look being being written up. Um, so here, uh, just describing using a multi um, a multiple linear regression. Here's our our dependent variable, and then each one of our independent variables uh, describe. And then since we had significant relationships for all of them, describing that significant relationship. Uh, remember in, in describing it in everyday language here okay and then that beta value and so, and so that beta value for religious questing um, that beta value is right here I put in that beta value it's fine for for this assignment it's fine to just have the beta value and then the um, the p value for it um, and so I do that for for each one of them here by the way for if you want to find the beta symbol if you're in the insert tab and then go to symbol um, beta I have it coming up right here because I've, I've used it before but you can there's more symbols here you can look for the, for the symbol or if that ends up being a problem for you it's perfectly fine to just write beta in there too for this assignment and then the last paragraph just talks about the that overall regression model so what the R squared was um, and so so I have that R squared 
and that that means that 17% of the variance in ethnocultural empathy can be explained by the model containing these four independent variables. And then we've got um, our F ratio. So you see 4 and 739, so our degrees of freedom, equals, here's my F value, and then P less than 0.001. So I th hope that helps you with your last assignment.